Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Rust question and answer video. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today I'm going to show how we can solve the problem of this user, which is about compilation of a C++ node and he's trying to do an operation between Rust time and Rust duration objects. Okay, let's see what's wrong here. And we can see how to make it work using RustDS. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robotic Net Academy, our online academy, where you'll find online practical Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation is required, and you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the problem of the user. So basically he's trying to compile this program in C++ and I think it's uh, very well done. The, the tabs and the code is very clear to understand what he's trying to do. So I think it's not an error about the, it's not about the rules of the program or the algorithm. I think it's just about the compilation and I believe it's uh, something simple, simple. We can solve it simple. So let's check in RustDS how we can do it. So I've created this empty project here, ROS time error. I'm gonna open it. Uh, remember ROSDS is is free to use, so if you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using right now. Okay, no installation is required, just go to the to ROSDS, to this website, create your account and start using it. Uh, so let's start creating a package. Let's open a shell and the IDE. Put it to the right side, put it bigger. And the shell I'm gonna start entering in Catkin workspace. I'm gonna create a package here. So Catkin create package. The name of the package is gonna be my package. And it depends on RAS uh, standard libraries, of course. So RAS CPP. Uh, we need also geometry messages. So geometry messages and standard lib. This is from C++. Okay, this is required to put uh, dependency in the package name in the package files. Okay, and that's it. So let's create a package. Press enter. Uh, now I'm gonna compile just to generate the files in our workspace. And here we have the package, so my package, source, include folders, everything empty. So let's start creating a node here. Uh, as we are working with C++, we have to modify the CMake list file. Okay. And we have to add the executable here and target link libraries. So I'm gonna call my file my package node because it's already written like this. Okay, so let's create a file, rename, and my package node.c++. Now let's go to the code. Uh, we have to copy and paste. There it is. Save, Ctrl S. And I'm gonna try to compile again, but now adding the executable file. Okay and target link libraries uh, we have my package node cpp uh, my package which is project name underscore node and the same here project name node let's try to compile make it some seconds let's wait and we should have an error there it is so Basically, it seems that this operator is uh, it doesn't work for this kind of objects, for duration and rust time. It is a match for this kind of operator. Okay. So first thing, I'm gonna check the documentation. Okay. Instead of just wondering why it's not working, let's check here. As you can see, we're a CPP overview time object. Okay, that's the page. 
And you can see that we have the arithmetic session here. And in theory, we should be able to execute any of those operations here. So basically, we can do some operation between two duration objects, also subtraction, and then rust time plus rust duration. Also, should be we should be able to do it in our code, and rust time minus another time, and it should return duration. Object. Okay, so I think what the user is trying to do is this time plus duration. Let's check the code here. I'm gonna put it here, and here we have so the end time. It should return rust time object. Let's check here. We have rust time, for example, to power, and we have rust time end time. And we're assuming uh, we're we're. We have rust duration here, which is message time, it's not message time. And here we have rust time instead of duration, and then duration. Time. So basically, I think it should work. Just if we change the order of the terms, let's try to do that. Uh, it happens that it was implemented only this way. Okay, so you have to sum rust time plus rust duration instead of rust duration and rust time. Okay, now it should work, so let's try to make it. Get the make again. In the meantime, let's check here uh, if there is something else that we have to take it off. And I think that's it. You can find the, this link in the description of the video. Okay. And then it works finally. Uh, it was not a big deal, no big deal, no big problem. It's very easy to solve. And it was just about the way you have to use and the way you have to do the arithmetics between these kind of objects. Okay? And that's all for today. I hope it can help you. And in the description of the video, you'll find a complete course about Rust Basics and C. Uh, this is a good start if you want to program robots using Rust and C++ instead of using Python, okay, and all the resources mentioned in the video, okay, this is the page uh, to see about the documentation, uh, the original question, and the page for the academy. Uh, did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel, and press the bell to, to receive a notification about the videos we publish every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts in the comments area. See you!